Hey, what's up guys? I hope you are all doing great. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get the Ark Moon and how to start the quest line. Every video on YouTube don't show how to actually start the quest line in this current season. So that's why I'm putting this on YouTube. You want to get this weapon before a Witch Queen? Because first, it's part of the 140 meta hand cannon group and it can actually roll with some really good perks. Second, if you don't know when Witch Queen is going to drop, we will not have access to this quest anymore. So we don't know what will happen to this gun and even to the dead man's tail. Because they both have random perks to drop. I suggest you to get it right now in case you can only buy it in the future at the exotic vault in the tower with some fixed bad perks. So I hope you will enjoy this video. Now you can tell me in the comments if you want to see more guys like this, whether it's exotic quest, uh, how to obtain certain guns or whatever it is. Just tell me in the comments and I will make a video in the future on that. And don't forget to like and subscribe. This will uh, help me out a lot. And you will see that I have overlays uh, in the video because I was streaming this on YouTube on my channel. So if you want to miss a future stream just subscribe again and uh, i'll see you on the next stream so without further ado let's jump in the video for all those who are new on the channel i'm mr charlo and i make destiny 2 content so first you will need to get to crow it's uh near the spider you just take a left once you're at the spider and he will offer you a legendary quest that you need to finish to start the exotic quest. So, I don't know uh, if I did any steps before that to obtain this because it says I'm a step 3 out of 5. So, if I did, I'm pretty sure that I did something before. So, it must be pretty easy if I done it. And once you're a step 3, it says... Uh, Open the lure's configuration screen and insert mods to configure the lure. So if you don't have the lure, you can pick it up. It's next to crow like I did in the video. And it will put it in your quest tab. And to open it, you need to do a right click on it. And you just need to put uh, one mod in each slot to update the quest line. Once you're done with that, it says that we need to do a ratborn hunt. To do that, a new icon will appear on your map and you need to get there. Once you're there, you just spawn your lure on the ground and the rat bone hunt will begin. You need to finish it. It's pretty easy and fast. It's just straightforward. Once you're done with that, you need to get back to Crow. Once you're at Crow, it will update the quest and he will give you plenty of mods. For now, you don't need to finish any quests related to this. You just get back to the spider and there it is you have unlocked the exotic quest as the crow flies first step is to collect feathers all around planets so the first one is as soon as you get out of the spider room there's a little box uh, and the feather will be on top of it the second one is on the edz you need to spawn on the sludge and you can just follow my path on screen to get it. It's near the last sector there. The third one is on the Cosmodrome. Just uh, right when you spawn on top of the big pillar in the corner of the building. The fourth one is on the Tangle Shore. When you spawn, you just go straight forward to the big entrance and it's on the left of the entrance. Just follow my path on screen. The fifth one is on the moon. You can just spawn at the sanctuary and you can just follow my path. This one is a little bit hard to find the entrance, but once you go straight forward, just like I did, uh, you just go in a straight line and on your right, you will see uh, an entrance that goes into a cave. Uh, like I did in the video, I pass through and I get back. It's on my left. So once you're in it, you can just follow my path 
it's a little bit long pad but it's easy to get there so just follow my pad on screen and i'll catch you once we're there Once you arrive, it will be on the left of the building near the stair. So the quest update and now we need to get back to Crow again and the quest is gonna be completed. So you'll get a triumph for that as the crow flies. And you'll need to do a second quest. It's like the following steps of the exotic quest. So you just take it to Crow. It's called Let Loose Die Talents. And for this one, you'll need to complete the mission on the EDZ that will appear on the map. Uh, it's pretty easy. So you can just spawn it where I spawn, start the mission. And it's pretty easy to do. Uh, you can just skip all the ads uh, at the beginning of the mission and once you get to the boss you just kill it. I was using my Galala horn, it was an uh, easy kill. And after that you can just kill the blight, enter the entrance and just follow uh, on your screen where you need to go. You'll arrive at the boss, once you're at the boss. You just kill the bosses depending on uh, which week you're doing this. It will switch. It has three variation. And once the boss is dead, you get back at the center and you will take the effigy of Ark Moon. So the quest will update. You will need to get back to Crow and talk to him. Once you accept it, the quest will update and you'll need to generate orbs and collect them. you need 50. For this, I will go on LFG group and take the, uh, the trollway checkpoint. It's really easy and fast. It took me like 5 minutes or 3 minutes with the masterwork weapon. Or you can do this uh, anywhere uh, in the destiny, doesn't matter. But the uh, trollway checkpoint is the fastest way to complete this. And after that, you'll need to get back to crow once again and the quest will update so the next step uh, it's gonna be to return to EDZ and investigate the market coordinates so for this you just spawn in Trothlin once you're there you just go uh, to the icon that spawn on your screen it's up the third floor once you're there, you commune with the traveler. The quest would update and you need to collect feathers. So once it update, you can just follow my path to collect all the taters. It's straightforward. You just go where the screen told you to go and the icons will spawn on your screen. But if you want to follow my path, it's okay. You can pause the video if you want. After that, you'll get to uh, the mini boss that you need to kill. You'll need to take uh, orbs to shoot at him to remove his shield. Once you kill him, you'll need to collect the things, the feather uh, in the center, and the quest will update, and you'll need to get back to Crow once again. Once you accepted the message, the quest will update. And you'll need to defeat champions or defeat guardians in Gambit or Cru Crucible. For myself, I went in Crucible. I like Crucible, so it took me, I don't know, maybe... Uh, I don't know if it's faster in Gambit, but, but in Crucible it was a little bit longer. So after that, the quest would update. Uh, I lost the footage for that, but you'll need to get back to Crow. And the next step is gonna be to do... Uh, 
the mission Let Loose Thy Talents on EDZ. It's very similar the, with the one we did before, but there's a little bit of variation here. You can uh, again skip all the ads and get to the mini boss. Once it's dead, you can just kill the blights and follow my path again. You'll get to the boss room, but in a different way. You have a screen indicator to know where you're going. So you will arrive at the boss fight once again. Uh, again, the boss will uh, switch depending on which week you're doing this. Once you finish that, you will be able to commune with the traveler and you will get the Arc Moon. So the quest gonna update and you'll need to defeat Taken. So you just equip your Arc Moon. Uh, you can try it and have fun with it and you just kill uh, all the Taken to kill the boss at the end. It's a uh, pretty similar mechanics that we did before. You can kill it with whenever guns you want. doesn't matter. And once you get it complete, the quest is going to be complete. And you'll get uh, another triumph for that. And you have the Arc Moon now unlocked that you can use. But the Arc Moon has a random perk that is not filled from the first one that you get. So to get another one with a random perk that uh, you can roll with, you'll need to do the Heartbanger mission, the secret mission that is on uh, EDZ. And once you're there, uh, you need to just shoot the fire pit uh, with the Hawk Moon to destroy the wall and you can start a mission. It's pretty similar to the mission, uh, the two missions we did before in this video. So it's pretty straightforward. I recommend doing that with the two teammates to go faster and it will be easier. So once you complete it, you'll get an up moon drop. I heard that you can get two uh, drop per mission. So it's, it's really nice and you can get some really good rolls like opening shot, range finder, eye of the storms. These are the three best perks for PvP or even killing win. There's also some good perks for PvE, but I think this gun is made to be played in PvP and not PvP. This weapon can also have a catalyst that increases magazine size and grants increased handling, reload speed, and weapon range based on the number of stacks of particle charge. Particle charge is when you get crits shot in a crucible or any enemies in the system. Doesn't matter if you're playing PvP or PV. But there's a lot of videos that shows how to obtain this catalyst, so I'll not show it in this video. But I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, please tell me in the comments if you found it too long or if it was okay as it was. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it and found it informative. If you did, please help me out by liking and sharing this video. And if you want to see more content like this, you just need to click on that big red subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitter to stay up to date about new informations and join my Discord to stay in touch with me and the little community we're trying to build. And as always, I'll see you on the next one, Guardians.